Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we've got a little WooCommerce categories page here. We're going to use the Divi Woo modules to change it from something pretty generic looking like this to something a little more interesting like this. We've made it our own. And as you can see, that's got a lot more interest value and it's much more in line with the rest of our store here. Now using product categories is a great way to show quick pages and things like that. But in the past it's been kind of difficult to stylize them and make them your own. We can do that easily now with the Divi theme using the great Divi theme builder. There's no extra plugins or coding involved in this build today. So let's get started. I'm going to go down to my dashboard. If we go down to Divi, you're going to find the theme builder right there. That's going to bring us to this page and you can add custom bodies and custom headers and custom footers for any specific pages. You can also add custom bodies for categories and products and projects and what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the add new template. I want to affect my product category pages. There it is, all product category pages. And that's under archives right there. You can go down, you can do specific products specific categories and it'll give you a list of your categories and there's projects cart checkout my account pages but today we're going to do our product category pages so i'm going to check the little box that tells it where we want to apply this template now let's add a custom body build a custom body okay well i'm going to keep this fairly simple today you can really go to town with it but let's start adding some modules. First thing I'm going to do is add a row. I'm going to put a single column in there. Like I say, you can make any kind of page you want out of this. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. First thing I'm going to do is put a text module in there and use some dynamic content to be able to give it the page or the category title each time. So if I roll down to the bottom, there's a regular text module. If you're wondering about these other blue colored modules there from some great plugins, Supreme modules, and Wow Carousel that I've got installed on this site, but we're not using those today. So let's add a text module. I'm going to go down, I'm going to delete all the text in there. And if we look over to the right hand side, you'll see a little disk type icon. That's for dynamic content. I don't want to use the post archive title, which will give us the category title at the top of each page. Now you can go in, you can do design on it. Let's go in there. Let's perhaps make it semi bold. I'll leave it the default color, but size wise, I want to make it a little bit bigger. Say 30 pixels or something like that. And let's perhaps put it in the middle. Great. Now under that, I want my Woo products. So I'm going to actually start a new row. You don't have to. You can just add a module if you want to. So again, I'm going to use a single row. Like I say, you can make yours dynamic and have all kind of different rows and things going on here. I'm going to keep it quite simple. If we roll down to the bottom, this is where we're going to start using our Woo modules, which is integrated with the Divi theme. Once you install WooCommerce, you'll find this plugin there. If you haven't got WooCommerce installed, you won't see that. But I have, so I'm going to click on it, and it gives us a list of really handy little WooCommerce modules here. So I'm going to add Woo products. There we go. And you can sort latest products, featured sale products, best selling products, product category. I'm just going to leave that on the default menu ordering a name. And I'm going to say use current page. So whatever page it pulls up, which will be our category page, it's going to use the products from that page. So we can now put a product count in the number that you want to show. Let's say six. Let's roll this over here so you can see a bit more. If we roll down, I'm going to have say three columns that works for me default sort sorting is right elements you can choose to show pagination name image 
price, rating, sale badge if you want to, and we can customize these in a second. Don't want any link, don't want any background. Let's go on to our design. Put an overlay on there, that's the white color that sort of whites out. I'm gonna give mine a little light blue overlay. That's icon color right there. Overlay background color, Let's make it blue. But I wanna take the opacity down so we can see mostly through it. So let's take that down to about 50%, see what we've got there. Yeah, something like that. And let's make that icon white. Yeah, that works fine for me. Let's close that one up, image. Do the all usual sort of thing. I've got square images there. So you can make them round if you want to by giving it 50% value on all the corners there. If you've got the chain checked, it'll do all four for you at once. I'm happy for mine to be square at the moment, or at least just have slight corners. So I'm just gonna put in four and it'll put in the picks and that gives them slight corners up the top there. But obviously you do yours how you want. If you wanna put a border on there, you can select all, top, right, bottom or left and you can have combinations. Give it the width you want. As you see, we've got a little board around there. Give it the color you want. And there you have it. I'll leave that there for effect. If you want to, you can give it a box shadow, just lift it off the page. There we go, that works for me. And of course, you've got your various box shadow adjustments down the bottom. Okay. Now I don't have a star rating at the moment, but if they did have a star rating on there, I wanted perhaps the stars to be pink because that's what we've used in our header and other things. So I'm going to select purple. I'm just going to drag it up to a sort of hot pink color up there. So let's move on down. Obviously you can make your star rating larger or smaller. We, like I say, we don't have any here at the moment. Sale badge text, well there's our sale badge. Not too keen on that color. So here's the sale badge color. I'll make it a similar hot pink. Of course, you can just copy the hex code if you want to and paste it in there. That's fine. You can give it margins and move it around wherever you want it. Change the font. And by default, of course, Divi has a huge number of fonts. It really does. If you want to audition one, just roll over it and it will give you an example. I'm going to leave mine on the default there. You can give the text a bit of shadow if you want it to stand out a bit on your labels there, that's fine. And you can even give it a box shadow as well if you want to make it stand out a bit more. I'm happy for mine just to look like that though. Okay, you've got text, title text and price text. Title text, let's make that blue. Make it more of a electric type blue. More in line with the other things we've got going on on our site. Let's roll down, make it a little bit bigger. It's fine, I might make that semi-bold also. There we go, something like that. You can give it a bit of text shadow if you want to. But to me, sometimes that makes smaller writing look a bit blurry. Not too bad. But I'm happy as it is right there. And our price text, let's make that just a little bit bigger. I'll leave it the default color. And you've got everything, your font values and everything like that. Now we've got a sale price there as well. If we roll down a bit, sale price. Let's perhaps make that a green color just to emphasize that it's on sale. And again, let's make that a little bit brighter. With that bright color, a bit of box shadow might work quite well. It's not too bad. And let's just take it up slightly in size. There we go. Great. So I'm fairly happy with that. Don't want to add any sizing or spacing it's going to work full width and full height and the spacing that i've got seems fine there not going to put any box shadow or filters on there great 
and you can go on down you can start adding all kind of different things if we go back into here let's add another little column and we'll go down to our woos again right at the bottom woo modules you can add cross sales notices product add to cart product descriptions product galleries as you can see there's all kind of stuff here I am actually going to add woo cart products there we go and that will show everything that they've got in their cart if we look down here there it is now like I said I'm leaving this quite simple what I want to do is add this a little sort of custom background to this whole page so it looks more like the rest of our site if we look at our site here if I go to the home page we've got some sort of colored backgrounds and things going on there so let's go back save that one let's go into the section that these are all said it's in blue tab for a section green tab for a row dark tab for a module and I'm going to give this a bit of a background so I'm going to click on the cog for the section I'm going to go into background I'm going to add a background image I've got that sort of green to white fade in one of my images so I'm going to go to image add background image and there's a sort of fade that we've got going on I'm going to use that there we go and they've just added patterns and background masks let's add a little pattern on top of that as well so I'm going to hit add background pattern the defaults the polka dots there if you click on it it'll bring up these other ones for you I kind of like this little random thing I had going on there I'm going to make them blue in color I'm going to take the opacity down a bit on that to lighten them up I'm actually going to flip it the other way so the blue will be in the background and the actual little shapes will be white so to do that I'm going to roll down I've got to reverse or invert if you will right there there we go and you can offset and repeat do all kind of things with your pattern but that's actually going to work for me so let's just roll on down see what the rest of the page looks like there my little WooCommerce products are getting a bit lost in there so I'm going to go in this it's going to hit the little cog I'm going to go and give this a slight white background I'm just going to add a background color obviously you can do what you want with that again I'm just going to add a simple color with a white I'm going to take the opacity down just so we can see and read everything but we can still see a bit of the background so I'm going to click on left click on the field there's the opacity slider I'm going to drag it down something like that let's perhaps give it a little bit of box shadow just to lift it off the page so let's go to design and you've got all the usual things you've got here I'm just going to add a little bit of box shadow there we go that's going to work for me and finally I just want to add some more information we've got sales going on on this site so I've got some things saved in my library so if I add a new section I'm gonna hit the add from library and I've got a green countdown counter there we go and an opt-in form which I've already created and saved in my library obviously you can just add these as modules if if you want customize each of your pages and finally I've got a little footer that I like to put on there so let's add that from the library as well and there's our little footer and if you notice they're sort of green in color rather than regular section blue it's because they're global which means I've saved them to my library as global and anytime I edit one of them on the site here it'll update all the other places I've got it on the site which is a really useful feature and we've covered that in previous videos okay well I'm fairly happy with that well, like I say you can really go to town I've done this quite quickly today let's save our changes We'll go up to our little X and close this down. Make sure everything's saved on this page by hitting that little save changes again. There's our little custom body. Now if we go back, there was our on sale. Let's close that one down. If I refresh this page, we should get rid of that sidebar now. We should have our custom things in here because this is the whole page at the moment. Let's hit the refresh. 
and there we have it with our new background and everything in there it's taken the categories there we've got our updated images and prices and things we've got our little add to cart down here or what, what's in your cart I should say we've got a little countdown timer and email opt-in and there's the footer down there and that looks a lot better to me if we go to another page it'll do the same thing on any of our category pages let's go to clearance there we go similar thing on the clearance page and any of the other categories you like let's go to dresses and there we have it so there you go guys there's how to build a custom product category page for your Divi theme. Just makes things a lot more interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.